Good morning, Manatee and Sarasota County. This is Cindy Thor with this week's Real Thing News. After a three-month decline of rental rates in Sarasota County, the dipping numbers indicate that this may be finally the trend. May marks the third month in a row that Sarasota County has seen a decrease in the already outrageous rate rental rates. Don't get too excited though. This is more of the rent rates leveling off rather than taking a steep dive. The decrease in May was 2.9% and the total decrease over the last three months is a total of 4.2%. This isn't a cause to celebrate due to the levels still being unsustainable for most renters. The growth in the Sarasota County has been astronomical over the past two years, but we're hoping to hopefully hitting a ceiling that will prevent the rates from rising any further. Also, due to the rising mortgage interest rates, it has been very difficult for first-time home buyers to get their foot in the door, literally. The astronomical figure that is the highlight comes from the Sarasota Burlington Northport Metro data, which shows a 47% increase in rent in rents since March of 2020, which is the fastest growing amount, the 100 largest metro areas in the country. In the face of almost 50% growth over the past two years, it's a little relief, but not much for a consolation. On to our next story, the biggest obstacle to buying a home lately has been the rising cost of mortgage. The average interest rate, a 30-year mortgage, has risen over 2% points in the last 12 months. But the last few weeks, those rates have fallen slightly. Given how much mortgage rates have risen over the last year, demand could be slowing down a lend and lenders will have to get more competitive. Lowering the rates mortgage the lowering the mortgage rates will attract both buyers who are looking to purchase and also existing homeowners that may want to refinance. Sales of new and existing homes have been falling too. This is the line with the Federal Reserve's goal of slowing demand to cool down the economy. Only time will tell when the rates will be attractive enough to increase demand once again. And now our last story. Home prices are hitting are still hitting new heights, but the pace of appreciation is not likely to continue according to Lawrence Young, a chief economist at the National Association of Realtors. The housing market has been cooling down as rising mortgage rates add to already higher housing price. The worst of the housing shortage is coming to an end, and that should be welcome news, Young stated. As more choices arrive to the market, price pressure will lessen, even though buyers may soon have a larger pool of homes choosing from there are still up against higher mortgage rates, which uh, have increased borrowing costs considerably over the last few weeks. The average fixed rate sits at the 5.09% at and was average of 2.99% just a year earlier. Despite all of this, homes are still selling fast. 80% of homes sold in April were the market for less than a month, according to Young. It is inevitable that home price appreciation will slow in, coming, in the coming months. Well, that's it for our newscast this week. Tune in for all our latest news by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. If you're looking into real estate assistance with buying or selling, give me a call sometime at 941-312-1890. This is Cindy Thornton signing off. See you in the next one.